Zoom, Microsoft Teams, Google Meet, WebEx, interoperability, platform agnostic devices. That's what we talk about all the time. But how does it actually look like? I would like to show you in this short video, in a practical example, how it looks in my case with my WebEx desk device at home. Hi, this is Roland, Cisco Switzerland. I would like to give you an overview of um, how we work on a daily basis. So we have our WebEx devices at home and we have a calendar integration and um, yeah, let's let's get into it. Let's start with a WebEx conferencing platform. So we have a meeting in progress showing on the Desk Pro. I can tell that three people already participated in that meeting or joined that meeting. Uh, I can press the join button and I'll join that meeting straight away. For a brief moment, I have my self view to make sure that I look the way I would like to and then it will go away. Also, maybe have a quick look at another layout. So I can also have a prominent layout, one of my favorites actually. And there we go. Good. Let's stop sharing. There we go. And then let me end this meeting for everyone. So the next meeting coming up is a Zoom meeting. I'll see that okay there's like a zoom interop test meeting there is a join button available as well i can simply press that join button it will dial into the zoom meeting and then it will ask me for the pin code which is in okay, three, seven, two, six, six, eight, five, two, three, to be confirmed by hash so Let's say we have a Google Meet meeting coming up, but it's not in our calendar. We also have the option to actually say Google Meet. Then we enter the meeting ID, select join and make sure we mute ourselves. And then the endpoint is dialing into this meeting. I have the option on the device to admit that user which is me and there we go i'm coming in as i would with if it would be a video call itself so that's google meet i have the option to also um, stop the video and start the video again and to end the call here we now see the um, meeting popping up on the device itself so we have the join button we see who organized it we see with a little logo like who what platform it is but it actually doesn't matter we just like press join and we join that meeting we make sure that it's uh, going to be quiet on the desktop on the host gets a pop-up saying like somebody would like to join that call and there we go the participant is joining their call as with another video device. I have the possibility as well to stop video, to resume video or to then end the call. So like with the previous conferencing platforms, also with Microsoft Teams, we do have the green button to simply join the meeting. On the left hand side we see that it is a microsoft teams meeting um, who organized it and the title of the meeting so let's just jump into the call we mute ourselves here and we can see that it's uh, coming up it dials into microsoft teams on the laptop the host gets a message to admit the person and there we go uh, the meeting is initiated um, I can here as well uh, stop the video I can resume the video I can see who is in the call I can see what the microphone status is I have various layouts I can choose from leave the meeting 
So thank you very much for watching. I hope it helped. Uh, please subscribe and look forward to see you in my next video. Thank you very much and goodbye.